Good morning, Fian family. This upcoming Friday is Orange Shirt Day. What does that mean for our Catholic school? Let's pray that God can enter into our hearts with his love, enlighten our minds with his truth, and open our eyes to the beauty and goodness all around us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Orange Shirt Day is about three things. Remembrance, commitment, and affirmation. This Friday we're going to be wearing orange shirts to remember a story that has been given to us by a brave, very brave woman named Phyllis. It was in the 1970s when Phyllis was a young five-year-old girl going to school for the very first time. She was so excited that her grandmother was able to bring her to the store and save a few pennies so that she could buy a brand new orange shirt. It was beautiful, it was exciting, it was everything that she hoped her first day of school would be. And on that first day of school, in the residential school, someone took that shirt from her and threw it in the garbage and she never saw it again. Think of how that must have felt for a five-year-old girl, for something that was beautiful and so connected to who she was as a person to be torn away with no thought or care for her own opinions or her own rights and just tossed away as if she were nothing. This last month, we all went back to school and maybe you had a new hairstyle or new shoes, maybe you rode your new bike to school and locked it up safe. Uh, maybe that was your orange shirt. Or maybe you got to school and you thought, you know what, this year I'm going to do something new. I'm going to learn how to speak French or I'm going to play something in the band or I'm going to play football or I'm going to help out in the SRC. Well, imagine if you got to school on that first day and that precious thing of yours, your own orange shirt was ripped from you and the institution itself threw it away because it didn't value you as a person or your own opinions and didn't respect your rights. That's what we'd never want to return to again. So Orange Shirt Day is a remembrance of where we came from. And it's also our commitment to turn away from that way of thinking. To turn away from the attitude that one culture needs to be better than another. From ever using violence against somebody else. As an educator, I put on the orange shirt and I commit to never taking away from a student their dignity I invite you to make a commitment on Orange Shirt Day yourself. Sometimes if we're careless or frustrated or in conflict, uh, our words and our actions can treat somebody else as not worth a second thought. We don't want somebody else to think of us as the person who tore away their orange shirt. So I invite you to commit with me to never say something or do anything that would devalue someone who's different or take away something that was beautiful just because it wasn't something that I particularly loved or valued. Orange Shirt Day is not just about what we're turning away from, but what we're turning towards. Today, Phyllis shares her story and she shares her struggle to continue to believe that she has dignity and what she is, is beautiful. But she's not the only one wearing an orange shirt these days. She's shared her story and shared her shirt for all of us to stand in solidarity, to remember, to commit, and to affirm. We're going to affirm that every person has something beautiful. Every person has a dignity that needs to be upheld and allowed to become fully alive. We're going to affirm that each one of you and everyone in our community has something unique and beautiful to bring forward, to share fearlessly, and to cause us all to rejoice in. Even though there are forces in the world that would strip the world of beauty and cause violence against our dignity, we're still going to wear that special beauty and dignity and wear it proudly so that we can share it with the whole world and affirm it in other people. St. Kateri, pray for us all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.